Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, Brakatham, to the house of David, which consists of the hopefully elect. We're hoping and striving to be a part of that number. All right. And um, if you're watching and you're paying attention, man, um, the Lord is showing us these signs, man. I'm going to get this real quick. In the book of Luke, chapter 21. <laughs> Luke chapter 21 because this uh, topic that I'm going to touch on real quick um, th this all falls into the category of the signs, part of the signs with the increase of so-called UFO activity um, you know the, 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 the chariots man, they're making them they're, they're, they've been revealing themselves more and more lately alright you know, um, ever since I believe that I believe they said ever since um 2020 up until now, man, there's been more so-called UFO sightings in in you know uh, basically a long time, and that's not a coincidence. But I'm gonna read this in Luke 21 in verse 28. It says, "When these things begin to come to pass, and basically going into the signs, when you read it, this chapter it goes into the signs that pretty much how Shai left." To let us know that he's getting ready to make a second return and all these things that have been happening. <laughs> all right. So when we see these things, it says, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption. Draw off nigh. All right. And what are the part of the signs that, um, dealing with the, the so-called UFO increase in activity? All right. <laughs> and uh, pretty much what inspired me to do this video, man. Um, I was I saw a video on RT News. <laughs> um basically going into how uh Kansas City um is basically a hot spot for UF so called UFO activity. All right. Um and I had um I had um just you know looked a few things up dealing with like this title here says, which countries have the most UFOs, UFO sightings and why? All right. And pretty much here you got this map of dealing with the so-called UFO activity. All right. And, you know, it's a world map. And clearly you see America, Babylon the Great. All right. Clearly this place has more UFO activity on the planet and again it's not a not a coincidence right because what does it tell you in the because the question was being posed again um which countries have the most ufo activity and why so why is it not a coincidence that america babylon the great has the most ufo activity when you read um amos chapter 9 and verse 8 it says behold the eyes of the lord god are upon the sinful kingdom all right, and going into the, the eyes of Yahweh about Shema Shai, um, going into the going into the angels, because that's who operates in those UFOs, the so-called UFOs, are right, their angels, are right, so-called black entities, so-called black men. Um, what's this guy's name? Um, I'm look this up real quick, real quick. I think his name is uh, Buzz Aldrin. I mean, I'm familiar. I'm familiar with the guy, but I don't know if that's the the the, the guy that did the interview with um, it's this chick's name um, um, Carrie Cassidy, which I'm pretty sure is, it might be kind of hard to look up those videos now nowadays with all this information that's coming coming up. But I believe it was um this chick Carrie Carrie Cassidy. Um, she was doing an interview with I believe it was Buzz Aldrin. It could be someone else, but I think it was Buzz Buzz Aldrin. Um, and in that interview, he mentioned how he seen um these tall. Well. He described them as as well. I don't I don't know if he used the term alien, but um, basically he described these entities 
being, he described them as being black men. All right, tall, I think he said something like eight to, to, to 10 foot tall black creatures, black men. All right, because again, that's who the angels are, you know, being that they're our brothers, men, they're our fellow, our, our, our fellow brethren. All right, you know, they're the saints um, in, this, in, in the spiritual realm, and, you know, we're the saints on earth. So, you know, when it comes to the angels, men, those are our brothers as well. All right. But yeah, like I said, I, I can't look for this video, but I, I believe it was Buzz Aldrin. I could be wrong, but I, I believe it was Buzz Aldrin. He did this interview. And like I said, in this in this interview, he mentioned how these these tall beings, they were black. You know, and you had the the, the chick, Carrie, uh, Carrie Cassidy, try to try to um, pretty much say that they were she was pretty much trying to trying to. Uh, like talk over him, so to say, and, and pretty much try to put words in his mouth because she tried to say they were they were dark brown, uh, something something along those lines. She tried to say that they they were dark brown or whatever, but he was like, "No, nah, man, they they were black." All right, and if you watch the video, you can hear the 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 because he was he I mean. You can clearly hear that. Uh, you can clearly see that the dude, buddy, wasn't lying, man. He was he was dead serious uh, in what he saw. All right, black entities. Because again, that's what that's who operates these uh, chariots, these so-called UFOs. All right, so-called black men. All right, because hey, the heavenly father is a so-called black man, and his only begotten son is a so-called black man. All right, so black that his skin, when you read in Revelation, um, the first chapter. His skin is compared to, um, uh, um, um, what does it say? Um, let me get it real quick. In Revelation chapter one. Revelation chapter one. I'll just start at verse 13. It says, And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, talking about Yahushai, who the world calls Jesus, it says, Clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. Talking about his facial hair. All right. It says, And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. So you can look up images of fine brass. You know, um, something like copper or, or, you know, something like a like a penny, you know, if you have if you have a penny, something, you know, something along those lines. Um, it says as if they burnt in the furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. Pretty much talking about he had a, he had a very deep voice. But the point being, again, it's comparing the Lord's his his skin complexion to a to a fine brass. That, that that has been burnt and you know if you burn anything hey it's gonna it's, it's gonna be crispy black man super dark all right so again the heavenly father Yahweh is a so-called black man Yahweh Shai is a so-called black man the angels are so-called black men all right um the saints are so-called uh, uh um um you know uh, so-called black men you know range from different and we say so-called because um when you look at the color black, like on this screen here, all right, you can just look at the screen here. Um, no one's that color. So that's why we refer to so-called black, all right, because we're not black. All right, different, ranging from different shades of, of light brown to a very, very dark chocolate brown, all right. And, um, you know, a lot of us, um, you know, a lot of the Israelites and, and people in general have pretty much, because, you know, these Job 924s, man, they, um, you know, before they before they came in and pretty much conquered all the nations, um, you know, at one point, even all the, the other nations, they were they were, you know, had complexion, uh, dark complexion. Even Esau at one point, he had dark complexion before, you know, he, you know, came out without pigmentation in the skin. Even he had dark complexion. All right. But uh, nevertheless, man, going back to the point here, um, going into again, why? Um dealing with the most, how America has the most UFO sightings and why? Well, again, 
Amos 9 and 8, Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. All right, and again, the eyes going into those angels because they're watching this place. All right. It says, and I would, and I will destroy from the face of the earth, saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save Yahweh. All right. Um, because you know the Lord pretty much He would um talk to you know the the Lord talks about leaving behind a remnant. All right, and it, it would be through that remnant, and that's who the elect is going into the elect. They would bring back the rest of the nation. All right, because two thirds are going to die on the side, but you know um they're going to come back. All right, through the loins of the elect. So the Lord leaving a remnant. All right, because and. and because if the Lord didn't leave a remnant, man, we'd all be done. The, you know, we'd all be, end up being destroyed. But that's not in the that's not in the will of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. So He will leave a remnant. That's why I said He will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. He will not completely destroy the Israelites. All right. But um, again, man, um, because hey, the Lord is watching this place, and this is why again, it's no coincidence. America has the most sightings dealing with the so-called UFOs. You know, it's to the point now where hey, people are just you know. Recording on their phones, man. The chairs are just popping up in the middle of the cities, man. Showing up in people's backyards. All right. Again, seeing stuff like that. That's a uh, that's a hey, Lord's letting us know that he's getting ready to make his time. Uh, he's getting ready to make his second return. I'm going to uh, uh, what is that? A uh, Proverbs 15. Proverbs chapter 15 and verse um, three. It says the eyes of Yahweh are in every place beholding the evil and the good. So. Again, because the angels, man, they they give report, man. They travel; they're constantly traveling back to and fro, you know, between earth and, and the heavenly, the, the the spiritual realm, giving report on what they see, whether it be good and evil. All right, I'm gonna read that in Job real quick. The Book of Job. The Book of Job. <sighs> Chapter one, in verse six, it says, "Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before Yahweh, and Satan came also among them." All right, and again, this you know the sons of God going into the angels, um, give a report. All right, also, because on another note, um, it said the sons of God came to present present themselves before the Lord, and it says Satan came also with them. Why? Because hey, contrary to what they teach in this society, um, Satan is not a—he's not a, against the heavenly Father. Satan works for the heavenly Father. All right, he's considered a, a son of God. All right, he's a—he's a top angel on the left hand. All right, you know, but that's another topic, of course. But just showing you that the angels—they give report, man. They constantly coming back into, uh, 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 to and fro the earth to the spiritual realm, giving report. That's what they do. All right. And it's just now, and this isn't something that's new, you know, um, the, the, the angels there, they, you know, they've been doing this ever since the beginning of time, man. All right. It's just, like I said, it's just getting to a point where the, these, these, uh, signs are becoming so frequent that, you know, you know, they're, they're starting to, um, reveal themselves more and more. Right. But um, I'm going to get this in Genesis chapter 11. And you see, again, this is how, Hey, we know that the Lord is getting ready to, he's, he's getting ready to, to, to move. He's getting ready to act because just like during the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, um, before the Lord destroyed the place, what did he do? When you go to Genesis chapter 11, Genesis 11, oh, I'm sorry, I said Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm sorry. I meant, well, it took place in Sodom and Gomorrah as well. All right. Before the Lord destroyed, destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, he um, sent the, the, the angels out to scope, scope out the place. Right before he rained down, rained down a fire and brimstone. All right, but before he did that, he sent those angels out to scope out the place. But um, this account here, uh, this this is going into the um, the um, um, during the time of, of Nimrod and the in the Tower of Babel, right? Which um, again is spiritual because you know um, a lot of what you see today with uh, because uh, there's you know America is not is it's not but one big place of just just. Symbolisms, symbolisms, symbolisms everywhere, and uh, where did they get that from? Um, all you know, a lot of the stuff that you see with all the symbolism goes back to ancient uh, uh, Babylon. All right, um, because hey, when it comes to these Job nine and twenty fours, man, they're they're not originators, man. They, they even the, the the gods that they 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 
uh, uh, you know, server and whatnot, a lot of their customs and whatnot, um, they, they, they even stole that, you know, because they're not originators. A lot of this stuff goes back to here in, 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 in ancient Babylon. So Genesis 11 and 5, matter of fact, verse 4, it says, And they said, Go to, let us build a city, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. It says verse 5, And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. All right, and did the Lord, the Heavenly Father, physically come down on, off his throne to the earth? No, man. Um, again, he sent the angels down to, to, to scope out the places to see what was going on. And the, the, the angels, they, you know, drop down everything that they see and they report back to the Heavenly Father. All right. So these eyes that it's, it's talking about is going into the, 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 the angels, all right, which they operate those so-called UFOs, the chariots. All right. So going back to Proverbs 15 and um, 3, it says the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So you see, all right. And you see, man, because this should show you how deceived these uh, nations are, or excuse me, just to show you how deceived Esau is, man. He really thinks that, you know, because a lot of stuff, they, 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 everything that they do behind closed doors, man, they really do. The scriptures talk about how they really do believe that they're getting away with it, that, you know, um, but they, they, they believe that. The angels are not right there recording everything that they're doing. This is why the scriptures talk about how the Lord has these people in the derision, man. He's just laughing at these people because they think that they're getting away with everything. You know, they think that, you know, um, they're, they're, you know, conducting all this wickedness and secrecy and, you know, that nobody, um, you know, that they're basically not being found out when the angels are right there. All right. The eyes of the Lord, they're everywhere, beholding the good and the evil. All right. And this is why, you know, brothers talk about, um, how you conduct yourself um, like on and off camera, you know, just in your daily life, your daily walk, because, hey, again, um, you're being watched, man. We're all being watched. All right. All of our all of our activities, you know, everything that we think it's all being recorded and it, it, it gets reported back to the Heavenly Father. You see, but I'm going to get this in the book of um, Psalm. Psalm chapter 14. Psalm chapter 14 and verse 2 says, Yahweh looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. All right. And, and hey, because um, scripture is going to how, hey, um, these, when it comes to, to, to Esau, man, um, he's not going to repent. All right. Um, and even if he did, the Lord has, has rejected his um. His wicked sacrifice, all right? He's rejected. There's no room for him to repent. But nevertheless, because, hey, he, he can't say all the nations have had an opportunity to, to do the right thing, even Esau, all right? But nevertheless, again, um, the point being that, I'm going to read it again. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. So, hey, the point being the Lord is watching, all right? But more so, all eyes being on America, because like I read in Amos 9, um, you know, the Lord, the Lord is watching this place, you see. And, you know, the Lord is just a, just a, just allowing the wickedness to, to the stack up so that, hey, the Lord can be justified when he when he when he brings the destruction. The Lord's going to be justified. All right. So he's watching, man. Hey, how about you? I was watching the angels are there, man. They're all around about us, man. You know. Ain't, 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 ain't no way of uh, trying to, you know, go around it or beat around a bush or nothing, man. No matter what you do, no matter where you go, the angels are right there. They're reporting everything. All right. They see everything. They see all things. And, and there's no way to, you know, get get around it. You know, but again, it's, it's not a coincidence why America. All right. Again, you can see here, you know, this is a top nation with the, 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 the top country with all the, you know, so-called UFO activity. Compared to all the other nations, all the other countries, all right, America's on the top of that list because the Lord is watching this sinful kingdom and he's about to destroy it. He's about to act. He's about to judge. All right. He's about to move. So hopefully those, this was edifying, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim al Shai, the modern city apostles and others of great millstone. Yahweh Bashim al Shai brought a thumb to the hopefully elect Lord's will. Till next time, Shalom.